Yeah, so Maria thought it would be a good time now that the cows are in that we could review the Lely robotic scraper. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, we're just near the end of Cavan now, so uh, we're into April now and super day outside today, hopefully growth is coming. It's been slow enough the last couple of weeks, but yeah, I suppose you'd expect that towards the end of March anyway, but you'd be hoping at the beginning of April you kind of get magic day when growth exceeds demand. Yeah, at the moment we were tight on grass, so we brought in half the cows and they're on zero grazed grass coming from the out farm and then the rest of the cows, the other half of the cows are outside grazing. I have kind of alternated them. I thought you just picked out your favourites and only your favourites get to go outside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've alternated them there every couple of days. They've swapped around. Just find it's easier to manage. The half inside are cleaner because they have two cubicles nearly per cow. You know, rather than having them all in at night, they'll be very dirty. Yeah then come the morning. Well, not very dirty, but they'd be more dirtier than, they'd be spotless now in the morning when there's. Yeah, so Maria thought it would be a good time now that the cows are in, that we could review the Lely robotic scraper. Mm -hmm. So we've had it in now for the last three winters. We're, yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. Like there's pros and cons with it. It kind of suited us to have the robotic scraper because we have, uh, like five different areas that would require uh, five different scrapers the hydraulic scrapers or rope scrapers or whatever you do use mm -hmm. uh, whereas the one robot will service the five areas and they're all slatted so it keeps it spotlessly clean like very clean so it kind of roughly worked out cost wise the same as if we were to put in the five scrapers at the time mm -hmm. it wasn't a cost thing we went for it was because it suited our system better. It's good, you can turn off routes as well. If you have one route that's not being used, you can just easily turn it off on the app. Uh, other advantages of it is like, for whatever reason, a cow is lying on the slats or whatever, it'll just stop. It won't continue to push her. It'll stop and then in the morning we can sort it out. So yeah, another advantage of it is on the app, you can set the times that it does certain routes. Other than that then, I suppose disadvantages are not disadvantages, but things that can go wrong with it. Uh, it can go off route if, if you don't clean the sensors on it frequently. So this is the scraper. This is the scraper, yeah. It's obviously it spotlessly clean. clean at the moment. <laughs> uh, but it's doing what it's supposed to do, so that's the main thing. So the two sensors are, there's one sensor here and one sensor on that side. Can you see there? They're like, it's like an eye, kind of. they're pretty dirty. So. <laughs> Does somebody need to clean them? <laughs> need to clean them. But uh, it can go off route then because it's measuring kind of how far it is away from the wall or whatever. Uh, or the cubicle step or whatever it's measuring off.
kind of need to keep them cleaned pretty frequently. <laughs> uh, all that'll happen is it'll just, it won't know where it is and it'll just get stuck. And then you come down in the morning and you can just, you bring it back to the starting position, the charging point. Yeah. And then it'll the clean it and then it'll be able to go again. Oh. No, Padraig. The wheel has gone over the side here. Uh, one other thing I suppose in particular is the app isn't that user friendly with it. So like it takes a while to show somebody how to use it. So mm -hmm. like we're pretty used to it now. But yeah, it's not that user friendly so it could do with an update. Uh, but I'm sure they will bring one out on that. And also the fact that you have to be in the shed within maybe, I don't know, 50 meters of the scraper for the app to work, because it's working off Bluetooth. Oh, and she's off. I wonder what route she's going to do. We'll see now. Okay, I'm going to say she's going to do route two. I'm going to say route. You have to say it now before she keeps going. Route three. <laughs> No. Uh, you're right. Well, it could come well, back. Well, it could it? come back. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I won the lot though. Could be route four though. No. Because your route right four on. turned off. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as I was saying, we're living a little bit away from the farmyard, and if you're looking at the maternity slats and you see the lady's gone off route. Um, you have to come down, we're living a little bit away from the farm, so you have to come down and physically be close to the robot to get the Bluetooth for the work, for the app to work off the Bluetooth and get it back to the starting point. So it's, that's just one other thing. Because otherwise, if you leave it until the morning time, the place will be, place will be yeah, very dirty. dirty. And the robot will be stuck. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Other than like their small things really I suppose like we are overall we'd be very pleased with it has cut down an awful lot on work and uh, because we used to be manually scraping them obviously that's a you know a lot of work <laughs> um, and and it wouldn't leave the place as clean you'd be doing it twice a day and it wouldn't be as clean as the robot going every half hour or every hour yeah so um, yeah we we'll give we we'll give it a thumbs up when I when we were chatting to the person. You can maybe get up to 200 cows. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. I'd say it depends on your shed layout. and More than the number of cows. Yeah.
just a couple other things on the Lely is obviously like most machinery we have to service it every year so we service it just before the winter period so that it's ready to go some things that need to be kind of checked are like the tires so this year now we have to replace the tires I think you get like three to four years and then the rubber obviously the scraper part uh, that will need to be replaced as well because that just wears down from all the use and then the other thing with it is obviously the first day when we had it installed uh, new the guy from Lele came out and he like manually walks around and programs the whole machine uh, so he does all the routes and then you get like a map of the different routes and you know on your passageways then when we added in cubicles at the back of the shed we obviously needed to redo a couple of the routes because there was concrete laid so it, it changed it and he came back out then and just like reprogrammed i think it was three of the routes that needed to be reprogrammed so he did that which was great um so like that's another thing that we were thinking with the robot when we were putting it in was that if we did need to put on another route in the future it's just a matter of reprogramming it and adding a route once there's capacity in the Lely to do that that obviously was kind of in the back of our heads as well now as it happens we have only had to literally just reprogram it hello who is it 964 how are you how do you like the square house? Great job. Keeps the place nice and clean. Super duper. Okay, girls. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, that's kind of our general review of the robotic scraper. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, anything that helps to ease the workload is always good. So if if you have any other questions about the scraper, you can leave them in the comments and we'll try to get back to you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you dirty old. <laughs>